it is a great smile shack. Yeah. Don't don't sell yourself short on that. Who else in this locker room would qualify? Who's the best smile in this locker room? Uh, me. All right. All right. They let us back. Yes, they did. This is the second ever edition. Number two. Ma maybe the last. Uh, I hope so. Of the Ask the Old Guy video mailbag. And as you can see, my special guest here today is one, Shaq Thompson. <laughs> Welcome, hey guys. Shaq. Hey, hey, thanks for having me. It's, it's good for you to be here. We do call this thing Ask the Old Guy, and since you're approaching old guy status, I think what it's is, you know, What is considered old? Well, I, I think you play. Like, we with, talking about football old, or we talking about, like, enormous? You, you played with Julius Peppers. I think that kind of moves you into that cr that's category. That's crazy. You were a teammate of Thomas Davis, so I, I think at this point you are building up some old guys. Well, Pep and TD, he just calls y'all old. <laughs> <laughs> I, and they're retired. So, and you're still. So, what going. you trying to say? I'm next. No, you're. No, I'm you're definitely good. next. You've got, you've got a lot of tread on the tires, Shaq. <laughs> so, everything's good. But I did want to ask you I mean, having been around, you are kind of a bridge for this organization because there are a lot of new guys around here, a lot of new parts, a lot of excitement about Bryce Young. But you've been around and seen this place when it was a playoff team. You've played with Luke Keekley, Thomas Davis, Julius Peppers. What's it like being kind of that transitional figure? I mean, do guys around here, does Bryce know about that team? Does he know about Julius? Um, I'm pretty sure Bryce knows. You know what I mean? You come to Carolina, you got to know the legends. And um, he's, he's definitely one of those legends. You know what I mean? And um, it definitely is crazy. I always think back and look back. I always think and look back at like, damn, year nine. I remember when I was in year, year one. You know what I mean? And uh, just being called like OG or head honcho or, you know what I mean, something like that, JC be calling me, is kind of sits in like, I'm old. <laughs> but age, I ain't too far away from them. No, you are not. You are not. You, this is crazy. You, you are a real OG, though. And we've considered calling this OG TV. I think I just so. might be the O. I think once you get to 10, you get the G part. <laughs> I'm just the O, you know what I mean? I'm original. We, we, we can work with that. But do you feel like in that locker room, I mean, do you tell the stories of those times to the young guys? Uh, I mean, if it gets brought up, I'm not just going to be like, hey, hey, back in 15, man, right. you should see Julius Pepper. You should say, I'm not going to do all that. But right. if we talk about like history and or like, how's it, how was it back in 15? Yeah, I'll bring it up and talk about it. Yeah, you know, I bring up Luke, I bring up TD, playing with guys like that. I usually bring up the defense more than the team. Mm -hmm. Um, just because I'm a defensive guy, um, but it's still a team sport, but just defense is just, we always just so close regardless of how long you've been here and if you just came, you know what I mean? Just something about defense, we just, just the glue just glues together real quick, you know what I mean? No doubt, no doubt. Also wanted to ask you, I know one of the things you've been involved with over the years is, is your work with Team Smile and the events you guys have put on. I, I remember being with you the other year out at Hidden Valley Elementary, and you know, I know this is something you're passionate about, and you know, let me tell y'all a secret. Shaq likes to play tough guy, but I've seen him down on one knee holding the hand of a young girl who was scared while getting some dental work. So there's a softer side to this man. Oh, do for not, sure. Do not let him fool you. I got kids. But, but I know that's something that's important to you. I mean, how, how did that come to be, and why is that so important to you? I just found my purpose. Like, man, I want to help these kids um, I want to help them with a smile. I want to help them build confidence. You know, I mean, a lot of kids are self-esteem is low, confidence is low. You know what I mean? When they don't have a nice teeth, nice smile. You know what I mean? So I just was trying to help kids get a nice, get get that self-esteem back, get that confidence yeah. back. Tell them that you matter to this world, regardless of what you look like, regardless if your teeth messed up, or to, regardless of they're perfect. It, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? So I'm just trying to bring that back into these kids and trying to give them something. Well, other it is a great smile, yeah. Shaq. Don't don't sell yourself short on that. Who else in this locker room would qualify? Who's the best smile in this locker room? Me. Me, of course, I got the best. Chin, I think Bo's got a nice smile. D-Jack. Okay. CJ, when, when he smiles. When he smiles. Yeah, X. Everybody, I'm not, everybody on my team got a good smile. You're like the most interesting man in the world. I'm I wouldn't say in the world. Or at least in this locker room. You're, you're top sure. five, I think. And that's why people have sent in questions. And not five. We've got, we've got actual questions from actual readers here who have things to know. Nate from Grand Prairie, Texas, okay. which is a Texas real place. Nate's an OG. 
Uh, Nate says, Shaq, you're the captain of a four-player trivia team on a weeknight. <laughs> Which four defensive teammates are you taking with you? It depends on what type of trivia questions I'm getting. If I don't know, I'm taking Burns. I'm taking d -Jack. Probably my whole corner. I'm taking JC and I'm taking Chin. Like that, they got a whole solid corner that just, you say something, something pops off. You know what I mean? So I think in trivia, you need something like, especially if it's time. Quick thinking. If we're doing like Family Feud, yeah. you definitely got to have somebody that got quick thinking. And those four right there, you say something, they got something already answered. Right back. Makes sense. Makes sense. Here's another history question for you. Rich from Mount Olive, North Carolina, another one of the longtime readers, pickle guy. Uh, Rich wants to know, who is the greatest Panthers linebacker from each decade, the 90s, the 2000s, oh gosh, and the you, 10s? You went too far for me. Too far. Well, start wherever you feel comfortable. I, well, I'm going to start with the people that I think, Kevin Green, Sam Mills, Couple Hall of Famers, that makes Dan sense. Dan Morgan, mm -hmm. Chase Blackburn, um, that I've seen, honestly, A.J. Klein. Luke Keekley, Thomas Davis. Um, I feel like I'm missing somebody. Did AJ Klein take it personally when he would make a play and people would go, Luke? Nah, he just thought it was kind of funny. A lot, a lot of good names. Here's another one, and it, this is good for you. I think you're a good one to talk about this. John and Matthews. North Carolina? Matthews, North Carolina. Homegrown, Mecklenburg County. John wants to know, what's more important when you're putting a team together, the skill of the players or team culture? I think it's a little bit of both. You definitely have a little bit. You get, definitely have to have a little bit of both, because you need that talent to be on the field, but you also need that culture. If you don't have that culture, it's it's just like with your family. If you don't got if you don't got your family rules, your family morals, your family like what is your family? Same thing with football. It's like you need that culture. You got to have that culture. Without that culture, it's nothing. You can have all the talent in the world, but if they're all selfish, then you don't got no culture. Feel like a little bit of that coming around now. People culture. getting used to a new coaching staff. Ah, People man. getting. Honestly, to that question, characters. like when they came in, it kind of just jumped off like culture. Yeah, you know I mean, guys just kind of just bought in. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not just saying it, just say it, but like, I felt it. Like, guys just bought in day one. You know what I mean? When Frank kind of got up there and talked, when Deuce got up there and talked, you know what I mean? Guys just bought in. You know who else is a big part of the culture around here? This guy right here, Shaq Thompson, Shaquille Thompson. Shaquille. The real Shaquille. Shaquille. And because you're so important to the culture of this, Shaquille. you're now important to the culture oh, of go. the mailbag. You let's are go. now, Shaq Thompson, an official friend of the mailbag. Mail. Second player on this roster to third. Jansen may have gotten one a while back, but Cor Cor Corbett, I think, has framed his and hung it on the wall. That's what he said. That's dope. So you are now, Shaq Thompson, a friend what's of the that, mailbag. Uh, what's that? Uh, uh, little thing. We got mail that makes you want to smell. Mail. How's that go? Anybody know? <laughs> Anybody know? And he wonders why we invited Any, anybody him. Anybody know? To the second anybody edition. Anybody know? It's the clue of Ask the Old Guy video mailbag. <laughs>